Hi Libra, welcome to your November monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. Let it light a fire for the reading for this month. I'm in a, a new location in the mountains, so feeling more grounded. <laughs> Just good. Five of Cups, intentions, and your energy for this month is to start focusing on the cups that are still there. You might have a tendency to go to the past and almost ruminate and think about all of the things that didn't go right or didn't go wrong or the people that hurt you. And it's time to move beyond that and focus on the abundance that is still within your life because there are still two cups there for you. And then the world shows up. So you're ending a cycle. It's about letting go of that old cycle, those old stories, and bringing back your own vortex and your own power here with the world card. All right. Libra, yes. Let's see past our outside influences for you. Okay, two of wands. So you're deciding where you want to move or not even if it's a physical move, it's about possibly a career move or just moving some mental baggage around or letting go of that emotional baggage and taking a risk on a new adventure, a new life, a new mindset too. All right, let's clarify the two of wands. Whoa, this one. Flies out for you, so knowing that there's strength and vulnerability, that's always the message for me with this card. With the Two of Wands, it's having that inner strength. If you are willing to take that risk and go out of your comfort zone, you do have the inner strength to see it through, and knowing that you have it within you to make the right decision for yourself. Okay, box and lessons for Libra. For November, moving into December, Queen of Cups. So you're really tapping into your intuition. You're feeling really nurturing right now. You're opening up emotionally too. I feel like there's, it's not a block anymore. It's like the wall is crumbling. That's what I'm seeing. This wall that you have up is crumbling down, which is good. Emotional wall. <laughs> Not a physical wall, don't worry. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, and then bringing back that independent vibe again that we were talking about with the world card and knowing your worth and also having your own coins, being independent within your coins, within your own business. I'm feeling always too with this card. Also, your business is part of your intuition and bringing your intuition into your business too with the Nine of Pentacles beside the Queen of Cups. So your person or situation, the hangman, surrendering to that love, if this is a love reading for you, that's part of the message. Having that strength to surrender to. The hangman above the strength card is being vulnerable yet letting go at the same time. So not being clingy or controlling with your person. And yeah, the Ten of Cups. So your person sees you as being their wish fulfillment as far as a dream come true emotionally, with a family possibly in the future. And they could see you as deciding if you're going to stay with them or leave. Because the Two of Wands with the Ten of Cups for me is always deciding if you want to stay or go within that connection, that emotional connection for more fire or more adventure or just something new. Intention, Six of Pentacles. So finding that balance, this is coming up for almost all of the readings, which I love. Letting go of that emotional baggage of the past with the Five of Cups. 
and focusing more on this material dimension, focusing on the balance that you have within the relationships that are happening now and feeling too. And yeah, the Eight of Swords. So Libra, I feel this. You are creating your own mental anguish. You have to let go of the past I'm feeling with this Five of Cups because it is causing you a lot of stress with the Eight of Swords. You're feeling confined, you're feeling constricted, you're blindfolded from the truth, and then the Emperor, that's the message from the universe, so bringing back that Emperor vibe within yourself, letting go of this Five of Cups, this Eight of Swords, and bringing back the balance with the Six of Pentacles and the Emperor. And this one, Ace of Swords, yes. So you do have that mental capacity, the epiphany within yourself to move forward in a really powerful way here. There's going to be a new cycle. And there'll be a lot of downloads coming in. It's going to be more on the intellectual side with the swords, which matches your element your vibe so it's perfect actually okay let's clarify clarify the hangman the ten of cups and this two of wands whole situation if this is a love reading for you for libra for november six of swords all right this is about tapping into that intellectual side, seeing your options, seeing if you want to move to brighter horizons. Also a card of movement in a lot of decks too. I feel like you're gonna take more of a scientific approach even though science and spirituality are so combined now and always have been. It's about, it, that's what it is, it's about Tapping more into the Queen of Cups intuitive side and letting go of this more quote-unquote science side and surrendering to this emotion, the emotions here. And the Prince of Pentacles comes up too. I love that. So there is movement. There is grounded energy happening with the Pentacles. So building up your business in a way that is connected to the earth I'm feeling. I'm not sure why that message flies up, but it's a good one. <laughs> and this one. Seven of Wands, yeah. So message from the universe moving forward, protecting your vibe, protecting your energy. There might be some people that don't have your best interest at heart or are envious or jealous and all those weirdness, weirdness happening. <laughs> Can I talk right now? But don't let it get to you. Just build up that positive vortex around you and then nothing can really affect your inner drive and focus and peace. Okay, let's see the... Oh, the fire's dying. Is that a sign? What's going on? Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation, number three. Exactly. This, I haven't pulled this one yet since I've gotten the deck for any of the readings. So I feel like this is such a good message for you. Calming those waters surrendering here with the hangman that goes really good together calming down the mental it's like over it's like over mental activity yes <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say too much thinking basically and then knowing how to bring in that peaceful vibe for yourself how to regulate yourself so that you can be peaceful even in times that seem to be troubling on the external you can still be internally at peace with the queen of cups here and with the emperor too 
Okay, one more Oracle card for Libra to wrap up this reading for November. Offer number nine. Love this card. This is the card that they used for the cover of the deck. So it's about putting your intention out into the universe in a genuine way and making that genuine offer for whatever you want to manifest into your life. Okay, Libra, I hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the rest of November. Hope to see you for the December monthlies. Bye for now.